your thoughts is not your responsibility and i'm gonna break down in this video why and what thought is and how you can manifest what you want to manifest and at the same time how can you let go of all of these thoughts all of these noises that's been distracting you from your own inner peace of mind okay this is your golden healer and we are here to heal each other and as we can heal ourselves we can heal entire planet earth because when you have a healer in your home you will know how to heal yourself that is when you can come to your happy state your neutral state of your being so let us just dive in today okay so now what is thought guys what is thought thought is every little thing everything is made up by our own thoughts every little thing from trees to the birds to the stones the butterfly you know you anything materialistic things it is coming from your own thought everything is thought that's why in ancient egypt we used to say like everything is mental okay everything is created by your own mind and what is the mind right what is the mind is made of like why i'm gonna come to it this later because this is interesting as i am knowing myself in a very deeper way as i am learning more about planet earth about nature every little thing so i'm started to questioning myself you know i travel to so many countries meditating meeting different kind of monks yogi masters receiving lots of higher knowledges from my own experiences and this is what i learn and what can set you free is actually learning more about your thoughts let's say that there are so many thoughts in your head that is passing by right and now you as the observer you're observing all of these thoughts because there is a voice that exists within in our mind and we all want to shut it down right we are like no i don't want to hear it you just want to escape from it you just want to run away from it so what's going on during that time is actually you are maybe end up taking lots of substance because you don't want to hear what is going on you end up putting yourself in a situation or you start reacting like in a way why you what is coming from your own thoughts because you have to think it first like thoughts thoughts are everything that is passing by and this is the programming that is or existing within in your supernatural computer right and then what's going on is actually your thoughts now now you as observer within the thought form so now when you log into those thoughts those these thoughts start to give you massive things like even more thoughts so now you start to keep thinking okay so now you as observer you think when you log into some kind of thoughts that is going on within in your mind so once you log in you get even more trillions of thoughts so you keep thinking and thinking and thinking and from those thinking you start to get your emotions so you have to learn like what is the thought what is the thinking and where from where your emotions are coming so i'm going to help you to letting go of this that you want that you are trying to escape from because because i learned a hard way along my journey guys like this is crazy so this is what you can do this is what you can do analyzing yourself like what you are putting your focus and attention to now what kind of thought pattern what kind of thinking are you are, are you logging into and what kind of emotions are you getting you can have a close to it like if in meditation i learn to be one with the observer everything that is passing by because i see thought as the clouds in the mind because if everything is thought based is if everything is mental all of this thought that is existing within my head so now i can take away my only focus i can take away my attention just to just to just to be in my own center being connected to my breathing and that is when i can be in the center that is when i can be calm so now this is not gonna go because you you got programmed in a way where you like to think where you are thinking and thinking and thinking and based from your thinking you are taking your actions you start to react you start to do your own thing so now the best thing that you can do is actually living with the truth that means that having the knowledge of self having the knowledge of what's going on because when you have the right knowledge you can recenter yourself all over again and the only way to do so is by meditating so when you sit and meditate guys 
Like if you sit and meditate, let's say that you're sitting and meditating. So now when you meditate, it is not easy for all of us to sit and observe the breathing and meditate because your thoughts gonna come and now you're gonna log into your thoughts, you're gonna start to think a lot and then you start to feel, right? So you get, to, you, you are bringing your focus and attention to whatever it is right now within yourself. So now not everybody can sit and meditate and just observe their breathing without taking any kind of substance and then th they think that it is meditation but is not so now the best thing that you can do is actually go out in nature for a walk because if you go out in nature and take a long walk now trees is, trees they're your best friend they're gonna absorb your energy it's gonna cleanse you once you get that view once you get that you know that 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 cleansing cleansing wind that just come and cleanse you so taking walk uh, alone out in nature it can help you okay it's it's gonna bring you to a meditative state that can allow you to being more conscious about your breathing and that is what can liberate you from all the thoughts that you have uh, from all the thoughts that you have that you don't want to think over and over again you just want to shut it down like everybody says like everybody says like how can i shut my mind and it's like okay so you cannot shut shout it like you just can do it and the bad thing that you can do towards your mind and body and heart and soul is actually giving your body some kind of boost like take this you know and if you take this you will just disappear into some other clouds but it is not fully purifying you somehow so taking going out for a long walk grounding yourself bringing yourself to your own self-awareness can liberate you from all of this pain and suffering that you have mentally and now what you can do there is another option like me what I am doing, I am meditating for so many years right now. I, I, I was living with monks and I learned that first from as a beginner, like when I was doing it, it was not, you know, it was, I was not fully focused. Like whenever you have this, this knowledge, whenever you have this awareness, self-awareness while I'm sitting and meditating is not even meditation. Meditation for me is something when I see it, I observe my inner nature, I'm, I'm just bringing my heart, my mind in balance so that my soul can be awakened and I'm fully surrendered to my authentic self and I, I'm just observing my breathing and feeling the bliss. Being on that state helps me by knowing, okay, you know, like that is meditation. Like when you can smile without any reason, that is meditation. So that is why to let go of all of this and bringing like it is only your focus and attention that can liberate you. So you are focusing, you are putting your focus, you are allowing your attention to be in those thought pattern, be in this and which is giving you loss of headache, which is giving you loss of thinking and thinking and thinking. You know, you can just practice to bring your focus and attention to only one thing, which is your higher self that exists within. And your higher self always existing in the present moment. And the, in the present moment, it is your breathing that is going on. So that is why allow yourself to be liberated from what is not you, because you are not your thoughts so that is why when you know that you are not your thoughts then it is not your responsibility why because you are not your thoughts it is not your responsibility it's just like clouds passing by and you are the as observer putting your focus and attention inside certain direction whatever is going on so now you're gonna get lost into this unawareness while you lose your higher self because you can always bring your focus and attention to your higher self if you just know what to do how to do when to do instead of torturing yourself because the worst thing that you can ever do is actually torturing yourself mentally and once you start to torture yourself mentally you start to torture yourself emotionally which is unhealthy for your own nature because you disconnect yourself from your own heart and mind and the soul from your own higher self so i am here to help you with this that can help you take this as a greatest medicine because i know many of us are suffering right now many of us are suffering and taking different kind of substance just to be liberated from all of this and you cannot do so because let's say that if you if you want to walk and you have something that you are holding on and now you are walking now you are walking and walking so now if that stick if that thing 
is, 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 you know, if the thing has been taken away from you now, you are not able to work. So you have to learn how to work without it. Yes, now you have to learn how to work, work without it. That is why allow yourself to to having this self-knowledge where you can be fully liberated from all of this pain and suffering. And my tool, my greatest tool that I found along this journey is actually, it is actually my meditation tool. It is actually my meditation skill. Okay, so take this and do that inner worry because the knowledge of self can liberate us from all of this pain and suffering that that, is, that we don't have to carry with us because because the happy state is always right here you know and that is why allow yourself to do so and at the same time bringing yourself to the present moment where you can fully surrender yourself is actually by doing yoga because if you can stand on let's say that now right now i'm standing on headstand right my head down my feet up so i don't have anything else to focus on rather than just my body I, I cannot think of something during that time when I'm focused on my body and standing on my ground. It's same with your tree pose, it's same with your triangle pose, it's same with your child pose because when you stretch your body, you don't only release all of this dopamine and serotonin, you're just not only stretching your body at the same time you are releasing all of these blockages reactivating your supernatural power you are cleansing your vortex the energy vortex which is those chakras that we are talking about i will talk about the chakras in other, another video so now these chakras you know are being cleansed so now you are doing you at the same time doing this breath work like i can go to gym and run that is when i know that i'm doing my breath work i can wake up in the morning and i i just push the air out of my belly button <laughs> i do my breath work because that is also a cleanse it brings my mind clarity it's, it just brings helps me to bring in my focus and attention only to my breathing so I'm living in my present moment, right? That is why I feel like that it is very important for us to try different things that suits you the best. But the natural, easiest way to do things is actually being connected to nature, going out in nature for a long walk, sun gazing, grounding, okay? Going for a healthier diet, drinking enough water. Those are the things that can help you. It is like a tool tool for your own inner peace, bliss, balance, better manifestation, health and better wealth. It is like tools. We need all of these tools, right? And that is why choose wisely your own tools that suits you the best to bring, to not allow yourself to be distracted from all of this programming and the thoughts that is going on inside in your head. Instead, instead all of this practice, all of these truths that, that is helping you to bring your focus and attention to your higher nature, which is your higher self, which is always in the present moment. And while you always have, always, uh, always, aware of, of this self-awareness where you are like you are not your thoughts you don't have there is no responsibility when it comes to your thoughts why are you trying to control your thoughts why are you trying to take any kind of control over your thoughts it's just happening naturally that's why you should not do it that's why you should not do it just control your focus control your attention and bring it to the present moment and there you go you have all of these two tools that you need in order to stay activated and that is why it's not only the tool for for bringing yourself to the present moment or cleansing your chakras it is also a tool for your highest nature re reactivating all over again your own natural power which is your pineal gland the one and only eye that is located back of your head okay the pineal gland the, the, we call it we call it the third eye that is why that is why you are here to keep that clean keep that clean so that you can always be live a life with this self-awareness self-knowledge and collect all the wisdom that you need along this journey because it is too temporary life is too short and and just because life is too short, you didn't came here to stress yourself out because you came here to you came here to do those things that you're here to do and you cannot do it properly if you are unaware of the truthfulness 
of this cosmos. That is why be in the awareness and love yourself now. I'm sending you lots of light, lots of love, lots of gratitude. Thank you all for listening. This is your golden healer. And you know where to find me. If you want to book any kind of session with me, if you're having a hard time with your own guardians, you know where to find me. Book your session with me just right there because I know that this can be life changing and you can see those reviews that has been given from me from all of my clients because it says it you know like it is a higher shift it is not here for just because you know oh you know you are beautiful no knowledgeable the knowledge the the message the healing the light all of the things that you need it is right here so stay blessed now stay and I'm sending you so many hugs. Thank you all for being here, being so supportive, being so loving, being so kind to yourself, me and others. Stay blessed.